I, I never messaged the first mate. She approached me on Facebook. Hi, thank you for your number, Steph. Um, I'm always in Liverpool. My friend's a dentist, so he does my teeth for me. Um, just, just well, about ten minutes from the train station from Liverpool Lime Street. So, um, but listen, if you fancy meeting up tomorrow, you can go for coffee, something to eat. Up to you. All right, Scout, sir. You've finally spoken. She's awoken. Fucking hell, I've been waiting for your number for two days. No, to be honest with you, I prefer you to be shy. I don't really like loud people. Um, how can I sell myself to you in a genuine way? Well, I'm genuine. I don't sleep around. Um, I'm respectful to women. Because I love my nana and my mum to bits. I go to bingo with nana. Every Tuesday we go to bingo. And um, I'm just looking for a woman that can bring happiness and positivity in my life. I don't expect anything from a woman apart from loyalty and that's it. But uh, I've been single for over a year. I've been celibate for over a year. And I think now, well, I'm, I'm a fucking born again priest, but now the time's to meet someone, so. I was um, I was a British bare knuckle fighting champion. I've just recently retired undefeated. Never been beaten 17 fights. Used to go on like gypsy camps. Um, do you want us to send you some of our fights or would you not like to see it? I've done a bit of acting in films as well. Um, but yeah, so I've just started this uh, bare knuckle street fighting company now. You've, ju you've just said something that I absolutely respect there, that you've only been with three men. I totally respect that and that's uh, something that I'd like. Just to get to know you and see what happens, you know what I mean? To know some at Steph, you you are actually what I want. Like honestly, you 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 tick every box. You're respectful. You're a good woman. You don't want to be messed around. That's exactly like me. Um, I don't have kids. I have ten nieces and nephews that love their uncle to bits. I'm good with kids and stuff. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm really good at. I go in sometimes. I go and do talks in like bad boys' homes and stuff because I kind of connect on their level when I was a young lad. I suffered trauma as a child, so I'll tell you about it when we meet up anyways. But yeah, but I respect that. I mean, Look, uh, I'm going to come down there right after and uh, I want to fucking do you. <laughs> You'll have to train me to speak Scouse. When we spend time together, I'll actually pick it up, but I just think you are it's so beautiful. Like, I just like everything about you. You're good, just a good, proper good woman. Like a pro You're the woman that I would take to my family. You talking to me, Steph? You talking to me, huh? Me no good at scouts. Me good at um, making a fool of myself. Um, sometimes I look very stupid, but I don't care. Well, I'm fighting. Tell you what fight you can come to. I run it. I run it at the minute, but I've got a fight, a big bare knuckle fight in Saudi Arabia in October. It's a big one actually. It's for the hundred twenty thousand pound. The winner gets seventy, and the loser gets fifty. Um, plus I've got my friend, I've got a couple of mates in Liverpool, like my dentist and stuff, so and a mate with Tyson Fury's trainer, well, strength and conditioner, Christian, so, yeah, I actually like Liverpool, like, when I come and stay, I normally stay in Ormskirk in the, the Miller and Carter Hotel, but when I come in the town centre, I don't know which hotel I'm going to get, because I'm at a different dentist, but my mate's got a couple of dentists, so, I know, I know, but, I come, but I'm going into Liverpool tomorrow, prop, like, properly in Liverpool, Lime Street, in the town centre, I head. But, um, so next week, right? So, what's the crack? So, if I book a hotel Saturday, Sunday, so we can have a date for two days, then let me know what's good for you, babe. Well, I am an actor, well, I can practice. I'll, I'll tell you what, he's an Irish traveller. Now, you listen to me, you dirty, innocent, rat poison bastard, you. You only cure your biscuit and secure to the hospitals to put all of the patients aside to see to you when I finish with you. You innocent fool, you. Now, he's a gangster. <laughs> you come to me for favour, huh? You come to me on my daughter's birthday and, uh... You want me to kill a man for you, huh, Steph? <laughs> Are you alive today? Um, well, let, what, let us know when I can be first time you because I, I want to get so I'm not so I'm not nervous tomorrow. So I've already seen you, do you know what I mean? Because I'll be probably a bit nervous because I'm a bit shy. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to you doing my work on my head because you know what? Once I get these movie roles and documentaries set back up, I'll have like a, a proper, like, nice, clean head, Warner. 
I'm really conscious the way I look. Will you, will you put filler in my cheeks and stuff? Will you make me look really pretty? I want you to like really go to work on me. Like really, right? I want you to do what you can on me to make me look even better. You'll be rough around the edges, don't you? Rough, tough, mean motherfucker. So yeah, listen, you get fucking... I can't wait to see you now, you know. Proper looking forward to giving you a cuddle and a kiss. You know what? I actually am. I'm going to love you, you know. Like I, I listen. I just, just let this listen to me. I don't give a fuck about the, you, the, about all the shit going on with Tommy, man. Told you, whatever you, you're happy with, I'll back you. Okay, you're not on your own. I'm gonna be with you all the way. Fuck what people say, right? When you're with me, there's no fucks given. I'm telling you, just you'll see. I couldn't give a fuck about anyone. But um, listen, don't worry. I've got you. I'm with you all the way, babe. Like me and you together. That's what I mean, man. But do you not think, though, Steph, the best relationships are friendships as lovers as well, isn't it? Like, just talk to each other about anything, man. Like, if you've got a, if something on your mind, just speak about it. Like, I want us to have an open relationship where we can share things with each other. You know what I mean? And if you think I need to sh shave my ass, just tell me. Babe, I think you've already got to wrap down your finger, you cunt. Do you know what? I'm not happy about it, like. I promised myself, right, I've, I've never really been in, like, proper love. Uh, I don't know, so much, you've done something to me. I, I, I can't get my head round it yet. Give me time. I'll think, but fuck it. I couldn't give a fuck. I'll tell you what, why don't you call me when we get married? Instead of you getting my name, I'll get yours at Decker Cashman. <laughs> video, video call me, wifey, when you get in then, because I'm dying to speak to you, man. Just call me Decker Cashman. Right, well, listen, babe, I'm going to leave you be. Video call me after after this rang you, babe, all right? I love you, baby. And I do. I'm for, I'm, you know what? I'm going to say it now because I'm falling for you, so I love you. No, some I speak to you more than I speak to the boys. Honestly, the lads are like, Decker, why are you so quiet? Because I'm, like, Cause I'm texting my woman. She comes fucking first now. When are you going to get wrapped around my uh, pure length? Because I can't, you can't wrap you around my finger. I'll have to wrap you around my uh, big um, Cumberland sausage. But listen, you just you ready? Go and get ready for Tommy. Um, so get ready. You go and speak to Tommy, and then give me a video call when you finish, babe. Okay? Tell him about me as well. Cuddles, kiss, and spoons. Go and fucking gag him for me when you feel it. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you because I like you. But if you're in there, I'll fucking tell you straight. Knee mugs round here, mush. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, baby. You hey. <laughs> so far, you play. Listen, I will agree with everything because I love you. Get on the wrong side of me, and I'll fucking tell you. Mwah. Should I tell you something between me and you, babe? I've got a big cock as well. Like, I'm not joking, yeah. Um, I'd show you, but I don't know. I don't know if you'd want to see it, but I have got a big cock. I would like make a little. Do you want to show you it right now? Don't fucking show anybody because I've just done that now. Delete it when you get it. I don't want that getting into the fucking public domain. I'm getting trolled. But that's yours. Weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I haven't been with a woman for a year. Like, you wouldn't have to find it hard to believe, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, I'm very big, babe. Very big. But listen, I'm going to let you think on that, but fucking delete it. Can you please delete it, boss? Okay? Babe, you've only been with three men. How the fuck are you going to handle that? Yeah, I'm getting really bad feelings for you. Like, really good feelings. Like, it's just crazy. I think I'm being over the top. Like, pathetic, fucking big, wet noodle. Like, it is pathetic. But it is genuine. But we are... <laughs> I'm just reading your message now. Um. There's no one that stands with me, baby. I'm all or nothing, as you can see in my penis. All or nothing. Talking me balaclavered up with handcuffs. I'm going to fucking punish you. You can call me master. You do realise, babe, right, you've been with three men. You do realise I'm going to get done <laughs> for assault, assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs>
Yes, boss. Do you want us to call you boss in bed as well? Well, if I'm going to call you boss, you call me the fucking governor because I'm the hardest man in this country, right? So from now on, in bed, when we're kissing and, and making up, just say, yes, governor. Love you, governor. <laughs> I'm going to leave you be for half an hour while I just get something to eat, boss. All right, boss? But remember, I'm the fucking governor. The governor means the hardest man in Britain. I won that title in um, 2016. Never been beaten a bare knuckle fight. So, yeah, fought all the hardest men in the country. And they couldn't beat me. And I'm coming out of retirement to fight again. I'm actually going to introduce you to all my family and my friends. Like, when we when I go to the event and that, I'm going to bring you. You can come with your fella. So listen, now I'm going to... Now I'm going to text no one. <clears throat> you can see my phone when I come and see you, babe. Not at all, I'm not like that. You'll see. I've not been in a relationship for a year or had sex, and I don't trust people, so um, you'll see anyway. Listen, I am with you now. Right, so stop worrying. You're the only woman I want and the only woman that I'll ever have because you are now boxed off for life. I just, the thing is as well, stuff. I just don't want to be the only one making all the moves, like, take like this morning, you didn't text me, yeah, but it seems, it seems to be like I'm the one doing all the texting first, do you know what I mean, and for me, it's got to be about a bit of give and take, like, both making the effort, and I know you're busy and stuff, but first thing in the morning when you get up, don't text two seconds, really, didn't you, to send a message, um, but that's all, the thing is, I just ask for equal effort, do you know what I mean, um, but yeah, I'll just let you get on with your day anyway. Good. You know why that puts me off? Because why would you appreciate another good looking man? Like, he's coming to get something done. So you're, si so you're obviously sitting there looking at him thinking he's good looking. Why, why would I want to be with a woman like that? Do you know what I mean? Nah, I don't think so. Nah, I'm being serious. I don't like that at all. What do you mean? How is it different looking at a man? Nah. So if I'm going out with you and you're looking at him thinking he's good looking, I don't think so. I'm not a mug. I asked her, I said, um, do you want to men that come in? You went, well, you can appreciate a good looking man, can't you? That does, you're not on about when you're single. You're on about oh, overall. You're just changing the fact, you're just changing it now because I pulled you up about it and I wouldn't want to be with someone like that, so just find someone else, mate. Um, I'll be honest with you, Steph, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not happy about it, to be honest with you. I know for a fact you didn't mean when you're single. You just, you asked me the question, you went, well, you can appreciate, well, no, I don't. I don't, I don't look at birds, man, I don't sit perving people. Especially when I'm in a relationship with someone. From the bottom of my heart, I apologise for the way I was. <clears throat> I just get scared of, a well, it's not commitment, because I like you. That's why I've got scared. A lot of, just, just the whole, the fact that you're respectful and stuff and... You are a beautiful woman, you know what I mean? And you like it, well, it doesn't bother me you getting attention. What bothers me is you giving men the attention by thinking they're nice, you know what I mean? But I know that you won't do that when you're with me, so I apologize for what I've said this morning. Now, will you be my girlfriend? I've got a really, I've got a big backstory that it's, it's hard to go into, but I was sexually abused as a kid, and um, I've never spoke about it publicly before. <clears throat> gives us anxiety to talk about to be honest but anyways i uh tried to commit suicide in may 2022 and i got sectioned in under the mental health act um because i can't sometimes i can't get it out of my head i've never really loved a woman because i can't i, I, I i'm scared to get attached because of my abuse i, I know it sounds stupid but I only ever cheated once, and I would never do it again because it's a horrible thing to do to somebody. Um, I'm a very loyal man, very, very loyal. My fa even my family say I'm too, probably too loyal for my own good, but <clears throat> I've been shit on, I've been used off people um, because I'm a nice person. I help everyone, like now with the, with this with this fight company, helping all the boys because I, I like to give back. Um, but yeah, I was abused as a kid, and it, it's ruined my life in a way. It's made me insecure, it's made me not trust people, um, it's made me hate men, in a way. Uh, I was going to speak to you about these things when I meet you, which I probably will, I'll probably speak more in depth, but that's just a little bit of a thing that, that I'm saying. 
Um, but no, I don't believe in cheating on people. I think a lot of men use cheating as an excuse. Or I'm, I've cheated on... Like, a men will say that ex-birds cheat on them, but no, the men cheat on them. That's why men are mostly paranoid. I'm not paranoid because of that. I'm insecure because... I don't trust people full stop. Not about cheating. I don't think I'm good looking. I don't think, I don't see myself in that way. Um, very insecure in myself, like my face. I just don't think of myself highly. Like people look at me and think I am good looking, but I don't, I just makes me cringe. I don't, if I see myself in that way, I probably wouldn't be insecure. But um, it's probably just because of the sexual abuse as a kid. It, it took it out of me. It ruined my whole life, really. That's why. I got this hard, that's why I became a hard man, because it was to hide me insecurities. So, when I um, when I was abused, I then, because my dad was a hard man, I wanted to live up to my dad's reputation, and I became a hard man myself. And in my head, if I become a hard man, because I was paranoid, people could see through me insecurities. So I thought, if I become a hard man and get a reputation, nobody will see through it. But I haven't spoke about my sexual abuse. I've, I've hinted on my child trauma online, but I'm, I'm, I'll be ready to speak about it. But <clears throat> I'm seeing a psychiatrist at the minute, which I'm not ashamed of because I'm proud to help other men. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, I tried to kill myself three times last year. I nearly did, but the police stopped us. I jumped off the bridge, but the police van landed under the bridge. It was a weird story, I'll tell you when I see you. But I, but I don't want to put you all that on you anyway. But yeah, that's so that's a, the little bit of gist of it. Right, Steph. Um, so yeah. Tell me I'm your boyfriend, baby. That like you've actually been serious, so you're taking the piss. Means I can tell my nana and my mum. Okay. Right, okay, so I'm, I can say you're my girlfriend then, okay. So that means I can tell my nana and my mum. Okay, babe. Oh, make sure you be saying you love me. Good night, darling. I'll text you in the morning, my beautiful girlfriend. Oh, man, I can't believe I've said it. Fucking hell. What a lucky bastard I am. Night, night, baby. Mwah.